Next movie, and it's Christopher Columbus, The Discovery, one of those bloated international movie productions with a big-name cast in small-time roles, and a glamorous new face named George Coraface as Columbus. Here Columbus makes his pitch to the Spanish king, Tom Selleck, looking quite silly, and Queen Rachel Ward looking very gaunt for some reason. Marlon Brando does not look gaunt as the Grand Inquisitor Torquemada in a walk-on role. Father Torquemada and I have... Uh discuss the new evidences you have found from the Old Testament, that our world is largely land, and therefore the ocean sea cannot be as great as our scholars presume. Of course, Columbus gets his commission to sail, and then the movie runs through every standard seagoing movie cliché, including the false sighting of land. It's a cloud! It's a cloud. And the threats of mutiny. Portuguese. Are you alone, or are there others? Once on land, Columbus claims it for Spain and the glory for himself. We have landed in the Indies, my friend. My title is now Admiral of the Ocean Sea. This entire production is just too safe and homogenized. When the ships sail, it doesn't look majestic or all that dangerous. George Coraface, as Columbus is so handsome, he seems more like an underwear model than a gutsy explorer. And Tom Selleck is truly silly as Ferdinand. Schoolboys may enjoy looking at all of the bare-breasted Indian women in the picture, but they won't learn much history from Christopher Columbus the movie. Yeah, you know, it's the old uh, technique in any of these movies that take place in some native island. You take the prettiest girl yes, with the largest uh, cup size and yeah. you make her the queen's daughter and put her right in the front of every shot. Exactly. You know, Gene, were you any good at history in grade school? Did, uh, well, I'll get to my point. I, watching this movie, I realized that they have something in here where Columbus says, if we don't sight land in three days, you can behead me. And on the third day, there's no land, and he puts his head down, and the guy has the axe in the air. Yes. Now, it's funny that I don't remember that from my history <laughs> lessons. Is that, do you think that's well, factual? The, no, the only thing that I'm saying is that it seemed like he was taking a very short, a very big gamble. Yes, and he seemed very <laughs> cheerful, too. Yeah. He, was, he wasn't even nervous and then, that morning. And then within the script, here's another problem. Yeah. He turns into a very bad guy all of a sudden. Yeah. Something had been chopped out of the movie uh -huh. because there's no setup. All of a sudden, he's a complete maniac uh, very late in the mm -hmm. picture as he's going back. Mm -hmm. Uh, to Spain. It, it, Another it, it, weak uh, thing, I haven't seen a more lackluster Marlon Brando performance in, I can't sad. remember one. It was just sad. It was very sad.